Hello everyone, Z1 here. Uh, today I am going to teach you about while loops. Okay, so get all get your um, main stuff here out of the way. Get it out of the way. Just uh, you know, do it. Okay, so once that's done, I hope I remember how to do this, but. Um, So I'm going to make a new variable, public static int i equals zero. Okay. While i is less than 100. So basically, similar to uh, if, except it just keeps on doing it until this is true. So if you forget to make a way to have this be true, you will crash your program. So I'm going to have it print out every number. To 100. So then, or equal to. Okay, and then I want to do i plus plus, which basically uh, says i plus one. Okay, so this will keep on doing this. It'll keep on printing. I uh, to the console until I is over 100. See? Okay, but I'm also going to do some threads. So, say I want to do this thread dot sleep. Okay, and I'm going to make it. Five hundred seconds or five hundred milliseconds. Okay. Now there, it provides an error. That's because you have to surround it with try catch. Okay. If you do not surround it with try catch, it won't run. Ugh. Okay. So you see, every every point five seconds, it's gonna put another number through. Oops. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to set it to 250. Okay, by the way, 1000 is one second. Nah, not fast enough. I'm going to set it to. Let's just have it to at 50. Let's see how fast it goes. Oh yeah, now this is this is what I want. See, it just printed all the way to 100. If I set it at 1, it'll pretty much print instantly. But I will set it to 100. Okay, well that these this is threads and while loops. See? Done. Okay, and if I lessen this and say, well, let's just do 10. See? Just goes to 10. Let's do 1000. And I'm going to move this down to 10. See? It's going really fast. Oh, let me grab it. There we go. It's at a thousand. It's at a thousand already. Impressive.
So that that's threads right there. Eclipse auto completes it. Sort of. You just have to surround with try catch, but you don't even need to type the try catch. It will automatically alert you if a try catch is needed. And that takes care of this. And while loops. So I haven't really tried this out, but now for for loops. Uh, kind of new to this. What's the syntax? For I he is less than one oh one. I plus plus No. Dang it. Okay, well, I, I'm going to learn how to do for loop, and then I'll show you guys. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I know this video is short. Sorry, it didn't take me long. It's one I hope will be longer.